Hello and welcome to this success lesson on goal setting brought to you by the Harford Community College Learning Center. I want this experience to be interactive for you, so before we begin, make sure you have a pen and paper, something to write with, or a device that you can take notes on. So we're going to start today with a quote. Um, this is from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. One day Alice came to a fork in the road and saw a Cheshire cat in a tree. Which road do I take? she asked. Where do you want to go? was his response. I don't know, Alice answered. Then, said the cat, it doesn't matter. So, why do we share this quote? Well, in life there are many different roads and paths and directions that we can take, but if we don't have a vision or a goal of where we want to go, it's easy to sort of wander aimlessly and end up on different paths we might not have expected. So that's why we want to talk about goal setting today so that you can have a really clear vision and direction of where you want your life to go and um, take deliberate steps to follow those paths. So there are many different categories and types of goals. You can set academic goals, health goals, personal development, work career, relationships, spiritual, financial, all sorts of goals. So as you can see in this list, they are really customizable and um, you can set them based on where you are in your life right now and what you want to improve, where you want to go. So some of you might have heard of the SMART goals method. We're going to talk about a similar method today called um, DAPS. Hopefully this will bring out some new ideas for you in goal setting. This is a way you can set goals that are really going to motivate you and DAPS stands for Dated, Achievable, Personal, Positive, and Specific. So we're going to run through what um, each of these mean and then I want you to practice um, setting some of your own goals. So Dated means to set a deadline. Motivating goals have uh, a finish line in sight. You're not going to do them forever, but you have a time frame. And maybe that's a short-term goal. I am a huge believer in short-term goals, especially if you're new to goal setting. Um, short-term goals could be as little as four or five days or one or two weeks. Say you set a short-term goal to wake up an hour earlier each day. You want to wake up at 7 a.m. each day for a week. That's a really great short-term goal. Um, Long-term goals can be obviously over a longer period of time. So maybe you're setting a six-month goal or even a goal for a year or five years down the road. Um, and both short-term and long-term goals have merit, but no matter what you decide, with your goal, uh, choose that finish line. Choose that um, endings so that you can assess at that time if you've reached your goal. And the deadline gives you commitment and accountability, but if you don't meet your deadline, don't beat yourself up about it, don't give up hope. That's just a moment to evaluate and see what can change or what can improve. Motivating goals are also achievable, so you want to set a challenge that is realistic. Think, is this goal at least 50% believable to me? You want the goal to push you a little bit, but you also want to know that it is something that you can achieve. You want your goal to be personal. Like we showed at the beginning, there's tons of different categories of goals that you can set, and you should choose goals that are meaningful to you. Oftentimes you can talk with a mentor or advisor to help you discover those goals that would be most important at your life in this moment. Um, for example, if, if you're a woman who wants to be an engineer, set goals that will help you along that path instead of um, following someone else's path for you. Positive. I really like this part of the DAPS method. The point of this is to focus your thoughts and actions on where you do want to go rather than where you don't want to go. So instead of setting a negative goal, I don't want to do this or I want to stop this, replace that with something positive. Instead of I don't want to drink soda for a week, say I am going to drink x cups of water each day you know and um, something that will make your goal positive and really give you that direction that's going to motivate you all right and last is specific are your goals 
specific and are they measurable? How will you know when you've achieved your goal or how will you assess your progress along the way? You want to put a number to it or a time or something that you can really know when you're making progress towards your goals. So let's practice. I have two vague goals here that don't follow the DAPS model. So I want you to take out your device or your pen and paper, whatever you have, and I will read these vague goals. And then I want you to pause the video and think about how you could change these goals, how you could rewrite them to follow the DAPS method. So first is I will not spend so much money. <laughs> That's the goal a lot of us have, right? I will not spend so much money. And the second is, I want to get a new job. Kind of just a wish, a hope. How could you turn that desire, break it down into a goal that follows the DAPS method? So go ahead and pause the video. No right or wrong answers here, but just brainstorm what are some ways that these goals could be turned into DAPS goals. So write a new goal. All right, hopefully you've had an opportunity to write down those DAPS goals. I'll say an example of something I thought of. For I will not spend so much money, that's sort of a negative goal, not very specific. You could say um, at the beginning of the month for the next six months, I will create a budget. Each Sunday I will track my savings and spending. So it's positive, it has an end goal, end date in sight, it's achievable, and it's measurable. You have that each Sunday that you can check in. All right, for the second one, I want to get a new job. How about by next Thursday, I will make an appointment with the career specialist on campus to get advice on applying for a paid internship that can lead to future jobs. So. I'm sure you all came up with some great um, goals as well. So because DAPS goals are personal, it's your turn. I want you to write um, two goals of your own following the DAPS model. And one of those can be related to school, so your academics. And one of those um, should be a, a personal goal, another goal that you have. So go ahead and write down two goals of your own. Pause the video and write down your own goals. All right, now that you have your goals, let's make sure that you have that right mindset, that motivation behind it. In the wise words of Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. So really follow through on these goals that you've set because successful people do more than just dream. They translate their dream into action steps and they keep moving forward even when they don't feel like it. But Persistent and purposeful actions can help you get to your destination. Thomas Edison dreamed of inventing a light bulb, and he did, but he performed more than 10,000 experiments before achieving his goal. College graduates do more of just dreaming or hoping they'll get their diploma, but they really put in effort. They attend classes, read books, do essays, meet with uh, research librarians, all of these different things. So something that can be really helpful in going through all these steps is to visualize your goals. You can cut out pictures, write down quotes, create a vision board related to your goals and put it somewhere where you can see it every day. Another helpful strategy is to track your goals using an app. There are lots of apps on the app stores to do this. Um, or you could just Google the goal that you're working on, such as drinking water or practicing piano, and print out a calendar or a tracking sheet. Um, because like we said, the goals being measurable is uh, a huge part of this. So if you can track it on an app or tape it on your wall and track your goals, that can help you remind you of your goals and reinforce that. 
And then always just have the mindset that you want to sacrifice for your goals, that they are meaningfully meaningful to you. So think, are you willing up? Are you willing to give up something good for something better? Your goals are the things that are better. So what in your life can you put aside so that you can really reach your goals and honor those commitments, those goals that you've set for yourself? The Learning Center can help you set and achieve your goals. You can visit harford.edu slash learning center to work one on one with a learning assistant on your courses or meet with a student success specialist to brainstorm goals and to create a, sec a success plan for the semester. Thanks for watching.